All right, this is confusing. It is statistically more likely that you're a random brain that popped into existence rather than this entire universe existing just as it is. Let me explain. To get a universe, galaxies, stars, Earth, you yourself, the probability of all of this existing together the way it is is very less. It is an incredibly unlikely arrangement. Cosmic conditions had to be just right for this to happen. But if you flip the problem, creating a single brain, just one focused thinking brain with fake memories is more probable. It is way less complex. In a universe that lasts forever, random particle fluctuations are way more likely to form one brain than to form everything else. Physicist Ludwig Boltzmann proposed this list. If the universe is eternal and chaotic, tiny pockets of order can form randomly like a brain with memories, but nothing else. That means by probability, it is far more likely to are just a brain hallucinating this world than the part of an entire real universe. So rationally, you should expect more of these lone brains than entire galaxies. That is why the Boltzmann brain paradox is so unsettling. If the math points there, then how do we even truly understand if we are real or not, or we are just a self-aware fluctuation? In short, the universe is unlikely. A brain popping into existence, however, is less unlikely. And if that's true, you might just be a brain, floating in emptiness, believing in memories that never happened. This is the Boltzmann brain argument.